guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are doing fantastic today we are going to talk about the brand i'm slowly discovering and i'm totally amazed by it namely we'll be talking about perfumes from Carner barcelona it's a brand established in spain i'm currently totally obsessed with spain i'm learning spanish and i'm obsessed with everything that has to do with this culture i love spain i love mexico so it is natural i became obsessed with this brand and i will tell you today about uh, their historic collection i get the impression that not not many people talks about uh, they have more uh, popular collections out there as woody collection which contains fragrances as tardis palo santo elborn uh, or their like Mediterranean collection that uh, has, for example, I don't know, Costarella, Marbella, uh, those uh, those fragrances in blue bottles. However, I, however, I wanted to talk about uh, this historic collection because I think it's very, very interesting. If you are interested in today's topic, please stay with me, and of course. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I would love to grow more and more with your support. So any help will be greatly appreciated. Of course, don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like. And now let's start. Uh, so basically I have, uh, I could choose one bottle from Carner Barcelona. So thank you very much uh, to the brand. I'm very honored that I could do that. And uh, I was browsing, I was thinking, what should I get? Uh, of course, I was thinking about Palo Santo. I know it like slightly because I have very, very small amount left in my decant, but um, I thought I wanted something not that typical. Uh, and I went uh, with uh, Amber del Sur. I will show you right away. Um, so this one is absolutely exquisite fragrance. Uh, if you like, for example, Grand Soir from Maison Francis Cordesjean, I think you're going to love it. Many people compare it to Grand Soir. I was testing Grand Soir and I really, really like it because I love ombre quite heavy fragrances, warm, ombre, heavy fragrances. And that is what we have here. I will tell you more about it uh, in a moment. So that's the presentation. I overall love the bottles. I love the presentation. Uh, it is, uh, you know, when the package came in to me, you can uh, see it on my Instagram, actually. It will be linked down below. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can. And you will see uh, a reel from unboxing of uh, this um, this parcel. Everything was packed so exquisitely. I am in love, totally in love. So for sure, it is not my last stop when it comes to Carnet Barcelona. I want to discover brand more and more. I also got... Um, uh, I also got sample set, discovery set of their 10 best sellers. However, I want to, you know, pursue more and test more. So I have already some more samples along the way. So when it comes to like the whole range of Carne Barcelona, I think I will be doing another video. But today we are going to focus uh, on uh, this history collection. So as I, as I said before, I have chosen Amber del Sur and it was a blind pick. And I need to tell you that it was perfect blind pick because I love this fragrance so much. And I uh, think it is the best from the three I will be talking about. So here is the presentation. You can see it. Very, very beautiful uh, packaging, very sturdy. I love the aesthetics. I love the shop itself in Barcelona. I haven't been there yet. Uh, but of course, if I will go to Barcelona, I surely need to go there. Uh, but I, of course, saw it on Instagram and it's absolutely amazing. Totally right up my alley. Uh, and here we have the notes breakdown. A couple of words about the fragrance itself. Um, so yes, it was a blind pick. I picked it basically uh, based on the notes. I know that I love ambery scents. As I said before, I love labdanum in scents and this scent does have a labdanum. I love, I love those ingredients here. Mm, and basically what they are, what the brand says about the scent itself, uh, Amber del Sur is reminiscent of a time when royalty perfumed their hair with exquisite musks 
the scent of amber wafted in the air and enchanted patios bloomed with florals and romance. Ambar del Sur is a romantic tribute to all Andalus of the past. So absolutely amazing impression. Basically the history collection is about ancient past of Spain. So for me absolutely amazing because I love this ancient history. Uh, I love the culture, ancient 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 yeah ancient culture i cannot speak today as usual so i think uh it's perfect and what do we have in here what do we have in this fragrance just to give you an impression how it might smell uh top notes italian bergamot heart notes water jasmine indonesian patchouli australian sandalwood accord amber base notes myrrh spanish sisters venezuelan tonka bean madagascan vanilla uh, Madagascan Vanilla Absolute, yes. So, of course, we have Tonka Bean. I love Tonka Bean. We have Sisters. Already told you I love Sisters. It's Labdanum. So, Sisters Labdanum is like interchangeable. Changeable. Um, yes, Patchouli, which I love. Jasmine, absolutely exquisite. And the bottle looks like this. I don't want to drop it. So, I will try to open it here because I'm still keeping it in the box. It's beautiful. Look at that. Very minimalistic, very, very beautiful. And this collection basically has like this woody caps, wooden caps, natural, uh, natural color of the wood. I love it so much. Golden letters. I love gold, so you cannot go wrong with that. This one, guys, I'm wearing it today, actually. And let me refresh it here. This one, this one is absolutely exquisite. It is quite bitter. It is warm. It is slightly even creamy. So I think Tonka Bean again gives it some kind of sparkle. If you like Grand Soir, you're gonna love it. And I think um, I would go more for Ambar del Sur than uh, for Grand Soir because, of course, Grand Soir from MFK is very, very expensive. So I think uh, this one does the job just perfectly. Also, people compare it like um, to the cross between Serge Luton, um, Ambre Sultan and MFK Grand Soir. So if you like those two scents, I think you're going to love it too. And I also love uh, Unbelievable from Astrophil and Stella. If you like scents like Unbelievable, of course, this is not the same. But if you like the vibe of Unbelievable, I think this one will be perfect for you. It's cozy, it's clean somewhat, it is like dry, warm wind for me. Absolutely exquisite. And even though you might think that those notes are more suitable for autumn and winter, I think this one will be stunning in the summer air, summer evening. It will be perfect, I think, because it has some kind of summery in it. It is slightly buttery. So if you like this uh, creamy, woody, warm scent, little bit bitter, but at the same time sweet, I think it will be perfect. It is a perfect balance of the notes, of the ingredients, and it is not in your face. So if you don't want to emanate, if you like slightly oriental fragrances, warm fragrances, but you do not want to emanate too much, uh, I think that will be perfect. Now, it has quite a nice projection and I think it goes, uh, goes alive uh, on your skin. When it mingles with the warmth of your skin, I think the scent wafts more and more. Mm, one time I thought I do not have it on me, uh, you know, that it disappeared. Uh, but um, I was taking a nap and basically I was covered with the blanket. And when I woke up and when I, you know, threw away uh, the blanket, you know, uncovered myself, uh, I could feel like a very, very clear waft of this scent. So, of course, it was warm under the blanket and then uh, scent just wafted. So I think it has great chemistry with the skin. So I cannot wait to use it in a warm air, warm, warm summer air. Absolute exquisite fragrance. And I think it will be also perfect, of course, for the colder months. So I'm very, very happy with my pick. And I cannot thank enough the brand uh, that I can test it. So it's very, very amazing. And I think not many people is talking about this is underrated gem from the brand. You need to check it. Very, very original. 
and very elegant. I have the feeling that uh, fragrances from Carnet Barcelona are very elegant and well blended in general. They are not in your face, but they are creating aura around you. Same with Tardis, for example. You have an aura around you. You do not attack with the scent, but you smelling nice and people can sense that you have perfume on, but actually you're not assaulting anyone's senses, including you. Uh, so sometimes, of course, I wanna, I, I like very strong perfume, of course, but sometimes I want to have this feeling that I don't attack anyone with my scent and that is perfect. Another one uh, from this series, I also got uh, three sa two samples uh, with uh, with my bottle. Actually, three because one of the sample is Ambalder Sur as well. Uh, another scent is Megalium, and here the story is slightly different. If you like um, cinnamon and rose, I think this scent will be for you. If you like spicy fragrances, that one would be perfect. I think it's quite original. I was wearing it yesterday as well, and. Uh, it has good performance. All of those scents from uh, this history line have like six hour longevity. But as I said, I'm ten I tend to be nose blind for some fragrances. And I think that's the case here with those fragrances. So you need to test on yourself. You need to ask around. Uh, as I always say, I work from home. So there is no one to tell me if I still smell, if I still have a fragrance on or not. So it is hard to tell. Uh, but you know, you can try, you can ask around, um, it's, it's decent, it's decent for what it is. Uh, so Megalium is an ancient fragrance passed down through the ages from a time when rose water flowed from the fountains and balsams perfumed the lavish private li lips of the Romans um, from their bathing rituals to their chambers and boudoirs. So basically, as I said, it's rose, it's spices, it's very original. In the top notes, we have royal cinnamon essence from Laos cinnamon tree leaves from Sri Lanka, mandarin integral extract, calamus essence India. In the heart notes, we have nutmeg, Indonesian pimiento berry, uh, Indian white pepper, Bulgarian rose and base, olibanum extract from Somalia, Ethiopian myrrh, opoponax and styrax resin. So it's, as you can see, resinous, uh, it's spicy, it has rose. I think it will be perfect also for holiday season. Of course, now we are in the springtime, so, you know, we do not have any any snow or anything like that, but I think it's very warming fragrance as well. And it's quite transparent as well. It also cre creates aura around you. It doesn't assault your senses. But as I said, it's perfect. If you like heavier scents, I think this collection is amazing because you can also use it to work, right? If you are at work, you do not, you do not want to use your very heavy hitters to fill the room. Of course, there are occasions for that and I love such scents but sometimes you want to smell your favorite DNA but you do not necessarily want to you know attack everyone with the scent so I think those fragrances are perfect for that absolutely amazing creation as well this one is more fresh this oh this one is more fresh because this one is more warm, uh, is more like subdued, but still, of course, you can sense it. But this one is more calm, you know. This one is calming. This one is like slightly smoky as well. This scent is billowing from your skin, like very slowly, very elegantly, very sexy as well. This one is more like um, invigorating with the cinnamon, with this rose with all of those spices it, uh, spices it has, amazing creation. I think if you like, if you would like to have perfume that have rose and cinnamon included, I think you could not, you could not, you know, encounter better fragrance. It is amazing and I think also get a sample, right? If you're not sure for everything, you need to get a sample and sample for yourself. But I think this one for all spices lovers, will be perfect. And the last scent from the collection, the history collection, Bota Fumero. And this one uh, is included also in their top 10 bestsellers set. So apparently it sells very well. Um, this one is very incense, for incense forwarded. So if you like incense scents, 
that one be will be exactly for you and this one uh, is an homage to um, Catholic heritage of Spain so I think it's a great concept as well uh, this one is a mystical perfume that makes tribute to the cultural and religious roots of the old continent so basically Europe um, swinging to great heights along Santiago de Compostela Cathedral the Botafumeiro sensor expels billows of scented smoke filling the air with a deep and compelling aroma yes this is very like churchy incense so you need to like those fragrances in the top notes we have italian bergamot pink peppercorn indonesian nutmeg heart notes freesia accord muget accord spanish cistus so again this labdanum i was mentioning before indonesian and indonesian patchouli sorry uh, base notes styrex resin mystical mask so yeah it is uh, it is very incensey, but it also has uh, flowery undertones. So if you are a fan of such fragrances, I think Botafumeiro will be amazing. Oh, it's cold, churchy incense for me, uh, laid on a flower bed. Very, very nice, very interesting, very mysterious. Um, Innocency fragrances basically are very cooling for me. They have this soothing quality. They have this soothing quality as when you were getting into church, when there is very uh, warm outside, you have like dead of summer and you are walking into a stone cold church and you can uh, sense incense billowing somewhere. So you feel calmed, you feel cool, you feel cooled down. And that's what is scents doing. And I have impression that uh, it is like lighter version of Mater Premier Incense Suave. Incense Suave. Sorry, uh, I have tested it before, and it is, it is has it has similar quality. Uh, I have a problem with incensey fragrances, even though I love them. I love them so much because I love the scent uh, the scent of uh, churchy incense so much. Uh, I'm quickly becoming anosmic to them. So I had quite a problem with sensing it, this scent on my skin after application. I was testing it recently as well. Um, and of course it was wafting in the air from time to time and I could feel it throughout the day, but not as much as I would like to, but it's only me and I happen to have it with all instantly forwarded scents. So I do not, what is, I do not know what is happening, but it is happening to me. Uh, if I spray any incense fragrance, my husband says I'm sm I smell like a church and that can f that he can feel me the whole day and I cannot uh, sense any perfume on me. So this is only me. But I think this one is perfect for the office wear even. If you love incense fragrances, this one will be also creating this incense aura around you without assault assaulting anyone. So I think overall this history collection is very, very interesting. You should try it and especially the bottles are perfect. Of course, Carner bottles are almost all the same. They are very in color with color of the caps. I love them all. They look exquisite. Uh, very minimalistic, elegant. I love this Ambar del Sur and even though those two fragrances are great, I'm very happy I went and picked Ambar del Sur because I love it so much and it is, wa it is one of favorites currently in my collection. Uh, it quickly became one of my favorites and one of the best scents I own. So thank you very much, Carner Barcelona, one more time. Uh, I hope you liked this video today. Let me know what you have tried from history collection. For sure, it is not the end of my quest uh, for another uh, Carner Barcelona fragrance because I love the brand so much. The more I discover, the more I feel uh, it is something from me for me. So I very, very like it. Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.